So, do you have any idea what this is? Hmm. Huh. It's a gadget. And that's what this show is all about. We're going to try and figure out what that mystery gadget is all about. That's why this show is called... What? the heck is that welcome to what the heck is that the new gadget game show and i'm your host steve greenberg i can be seen on nbc today show i'm the author of gadget nation i'm in the world of gadgets and i've got a panel of experts to help identify the mystery behind this gadget so joining me first up is Lois Whitman Hess. He is, of course, our Arlene Francis, sometimes our Kitty Carlisle. She is a self-described digital baby because of her PR agency, HWHPR, which has launched many of the innovative technology that we use today. Uh, she's also a, um, a, a daily podcaster with a daily blogger with DigiDame, which I read every day. She also co-hosts the podcast, Lying on the Beach. Lois. Welcome to What the Heck Is That? Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Next, we have Harry Redlick. Harry! Harry uh, is an actor, writer, a former advertising executive in South Florida. He is keeping busy during this pandemic by learning to cook new recipes for himself. Ask him about his delicious shrimp a la quarantine. Hmm, how is, uh, magnifique, magnifique. <laughs> All it's, the, all it, the, it's the perfect meal when to serve to just one person all alone who, oh. who, who lives with a dog. And, and I think this is a good moment for us to a moment and just be thankful for the one you love. Thank you, Harry, for making us all appreciate that. Sure. Next, we have Oliver Tull, an actor, comedian, and talk show host with 10,000 shows to his credit. Uh, he's currently uh, heard as the host of the podcast improv by instinct and also is appearing in the voice of three games is it right now what what, what are you also in right now i'm in uh, uh dragon ball supers which is a, a cartoon i'm in one piece which is another cartoon uh these are both animes and then i'm in uh the new game borderlands 3 as part of the dlc so if you play games i'm your guy and and now you're on a game show so this all comes together it, it all comes full sense. circle Absolutely, I love it. And finally, we have Tara Harper coming to us from, from Fort Worth, Texas, the co-founder of spokesperson of Blushy, a beauty accessory line that she uh, is the spokesman for, and as I said, co-owner of, and is often seen showcasing her company's amazing products on QVC. Tara, thank you for joining us. You are a gadget maven, and we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about this first product. It's sitting right over there, and I'll, I'll put my hand in here so you see the, see about the size of what we're talking about here. And Harry, what do you think this gadget does? Do you put something inside of it? Yes, you do. Something does go inside of it. Question one. Number two. Can it be used anywhere? Uh, I think it can be used really for inside the house. I don't think it would go outside the house, in my opinion. That's two. Do you use it as, at a specific time of day or night? No, any time is the right time. <laughs> Okay, moving on to Lois Whitman Hess. Our, our Kitty Carlisle here, what do you think? Um, is that used to hang something? No. Hmm. Um, do you pass hors d'oeuvres with it? No, I guess you could, but no. Okay. Um, uh, it, uh, is it sold in a drugstore? No, it is not. Hmm, okay. Okay, those are your three. 
Moving on to Oliver Toe. Oliver, what do you think? <sighs> this is tough because you said you, you put something in it. And then I noticed the, uh, the motif. It's got a very beachy kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. Is this something you wear to an almost nude beach? Uh, no, this is not something you would wear to an almost nude beach. Okay. And it does come in other colors. Okay. Uh, is, would it be used in the winter time? It could be used in the winter, summer, fall, spring. Okay. Uh, is this model referred to as the Miami Vice? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to give a little bit of hint because if that's the Miami Vice, then this would be the 4th of July. Oh, my. Well, now I really think I know what it is. <laughs> is that one bigger than the other one? <laughs> That one is bigger than the other one. You're correct. <laughs> In this case, size does matter. Okay, Tara, I think it's straight, it's Tara, Tara turn, correct? I think yes. we're up to Tara. Tara, what, what, what do you think? Is it mostly a male product? No, it is not mostly a male product. Is it a piece of clothing? Well, not really, not really. I mean, hmm. sort of, I, I, I guess it's sort of a piece of clothing, but it's also a gadget. But I'll, I'll, I'll give you the sort of a piece of clothing. Okay, so it's also a gadget. Is it used for your phone? No. Hmm. Okay, that's three or two? I always forget, is it one more? That was three? No, that, was, that was three. Okay, so I'll give you guys another hint. <laughs> There's a smaller version too, oh, wow. and I'll even give you another hint because that's just the kind of guy I am. It comes in, you know, lots of motif. Well, the, okay. the last one confuses me. Does uh, it really? The first one, second, and third didn't. I? That's interesting. Okay, uh, Harry, we're coming around for a follow-up question. Any thoughts about this? Do you put? your pet inside of these things? Oh, that's, I uh, guess, but there's a lot more detail than that, but we'll move on to the next person now. So now we go on that's to- That's a yes, that's a yes. That was a yes, that was a yes, absolutely a yes. Okay, we go on to Lois Whitman Hess. I had a, um, an accessory for pet snacks. You put for it on pet. and they get snack. No, it I doesn't like help that. them snack. It doesn't help them snack, but it's a, it's a lovely idea. Now we go on to Oliver Tull with your follow-up question to what that is. Harry's giving you a, giving you a good um, push in the right direction. He did, because the first three tricked me, because I thought they were going down in size as the weather got colder. But now... Oh, <laughs> we all know that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> but now that last one threw me off, because now it, it was like a curveball. Does this go on top of a drink? No, 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 no drinks. Okay. And, and Tara, what do you think? I, I'll throw another one in here. You're just pulling these out of your closet now, aren't I mean, you? is yeah. it? It's what I wear around the house, actually. <laughs> so it's for your pet. It's not big mm -hmm. enough to be for a dog. So is it for? Correct. Is it for a bird or something? Bing, 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 bing. Yes. And, and that is for, it is for bird. But you really have to say, what's it doing? It actually has a purpose. It's not just a fashion statement right, or for people who around, just want it. Let us go around one, one more time. One more time. One more time. So, so we know it's for a bird, but why would you buy it? Not just to, it, 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 it's more than just a uh, theatrical statement. There's more going on here. Harry, what's your follow-up question? Is it to keep your bird, uh, is it for after washing your bird? <laughs> no. That's not a for after. Not for, <laughs> <laughs> it is a euphemism. <laughs> but it's not for, not for either of the possible reasons, the, uh, the explanation for washing your bird. No, it has nothing to do with either of those thoughts. <laughs> Next, Lois Whitman Hess. <laughs> is what, this what are your bird a thoughts? gadget? 
so that your bird doesn't fly away? No, <laughs> but a good guess. Okay, but a good guess. I'll hear from her lawyer about that. Next, <laughs> Oliver Tull. Uh, Tell two me. Two words. Mm. Bird thong. <laughs> bird thong. Well, it is a bird thong, but that doesn't tell us what it's doing. Thong, but yes, thong, thong, it's sort of... thong, thong. <laughs> I think, okay. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a thong to keep your bird from pecking stuff it's not supposed to peck. No. Uh. Next, we're going to go to Tara, who does work love the world you know she's a dog person she rescues dogs tara does amazing uh volunteerism uh -huh. in the world of dog rescue this is not a dog but it is an animal what are your thoughts i know nothing about birds but is this to keep them warm after they pulled their feathers off <laughs> nope i'll tell you exactly what it's for so inside this each one of these is this and no, it's not a feminine hygiene product, but it, there is one of these in each one of these. And the reason oh. for it is these are bird diapers. It's a husband and wife because, and here's the reason behind it, because people who have birds love them and they don't want them in a cage. They want them flying around their house. But when they fly around their house, they poop every 15 minutes or so, which doesn't make for a nice house. So you put on these flight suits, they're called flight suits, they put a diaper inside it, and then they poop up their heart's content, they fly around and they change it. And once the bird gets used to it, they're very willing to put the suit on and off. And I have, we have a little video. You place your bird on top of the flight suit, have a gentle hold on his, on his shoulders like so. Bring the elastic straps up and over each wing, kind of like you're putting on a bra, and fasten that Velcro strip on the back. Now if his feet haven't gone through those wing holes naturally, after you pull the wings out from each side, you can pull back on this patented poop pouch right here, and his feet will slide right out. Just like this. Good job, Rainbow. I'm sure you can see by now that having your bird be hand tamed and being out of the cage with you is such a benefit to them and also such a benefit to you. You'll be able to interact more, and they'll be part of your flock. They're going to be continue to be more hand tamed, and you're going to be really able to enjoy your bird without the mess. And if pretty amazing so uh for people who have birds they're very aware of this but for the rest of us it's um nothing we would know about but it is a gadget and a husband and wife came up with this idea and they're making a lot of money bird diapers could i wear one of those on a long flight <laughs> you could wear one on a long flight yes yes but you'd have to wash your bird afterwards <laughs> you have to yeah yeah and, and, and Harry, you'd have to go with the, the tropical motif because you're oh, in Florida. Oh, well, hello. I, <laughs> hello. Yeah, really. I mean, there's nothing to talk about with that. So, <laughs> so we've, we've all learned something today. We not only learned about a gadget, but we learned about a lifestyle for the people who own birds. Absolutely. Okay. Well, once again, I want to thank you all. You guys did an amazing job from the, the world of bird diapers. Uh, I was going to tell you, flightquarters.com and Amazon start these outfits at about $18, plus you have to buy refill um, diapers for the inside pad. Thank you. There's the right word for it, for the inside. So I, I hope we'll, we'll all, and it's a great gift for anyone you know who has bird. So again, uh, thank you all for joining us. And once again, we'll be back again with another mystery gadget when we'll all ask the question, what the heck is that? Yeah, what's going on here? So we'll do that next time. So everybody take care, stay safe, and so long.